Chapter 476, Second Level After Xiao Yan walked out of the training room, he realized that the entire tower was in an extremely busy situation. People were coming and going, perhaps as a result of the gong. Quite a number of doors to various training rooms, which were tightly shut when he arrived, were currently all open. A large group of people swarmed out and swiftly walked to the exit of the tower. Xiao Yan could see a faint red glow in the eyes of all of these people. Xiao Yan hesitated a little as he stood outside the training room. After which, he squeezed into the human flow and swiftly walked toward the middle section of the tower. The tunnel to the next level should be around there. It was obvious that one can only have a short one-day stay on this first level. It appeared that he needed to go down a couple of levels if he wanted to continue training. Xiao Yan followed the human flow as he squeezed and moved. His body agilely rushed forward in an extremely small range. This continued for less than 10 minutes when the human flow blocking in front of him gradually became thinner. He turned his body, and completely squeezed out of the human crowd. A sigh of relief was released in Xiao Yan's heart as he felt the feeling of being squeezed from all around disappear. His gaze had just swept all around him to look for the tunnel to enter into the next level when a human figure suddenly flashed in front of him. Immediately, a deep voice which held a complaining tone sounded by Xiao Yan's ear, You, this fellow, do you not know the rules? Don't tell me that you don't know that it is forbidden to randomly charge around within the tower after the gong has sounded. The human figure that appeared in front of him caused Xiao Yan to hurriedly stop. He lifted his gaze, only to realize that the other party was a middle-aged man who was around the same age as Ho Hu. He similarly wore an instructor badge on his chest. It looked like he should be similar to Ho Hu, an instructor who was in charge of order within the tower. Instructor Since the other party was an instructor, Xiao Yan naturally did not dare to randomly roam around. However, he had just opened his mouth to explain when this instructor, whose face was a heavy as water, waved his hand. He frowned and said, There is no need to say anything. Since the training is over, you should go back and rest. Wait until the hidden fire poison has been resolved tomorrow before you come back to the tower to train. The tower is going to begin the inspection procedure soon. If you are discovered to be still staying here, your fire energy will be deducted. Hidden fire poison should be the wild and violent factor that Ho Hu had mentioned. Although the name in which it was referred to was dissimilar, the actual meaning was about the same. Seeing the stern face of this instructor, Xiao Yan could not help but feel a little headache. However, it was fortunate that the headache did not last very long before it was resolved by a voice. Hey? Xiao Yan? Why are you still here? Xiao Yan's heart immediately rejoiced when he heard this voice. He eyed Ho Hu who was striding over and hurriedly threw an expression at him. There was some doubt in Ho Hu's heart when he saw Xiao Yan winking at him. He walked forward and smiled as he said toward the middle-aged large man who was blocking Xiao Yan, Qin Li, let me handle it, you can go and do your stuff. Hearing this, that instructor hesitated a moment. His gaze swept over Xiao Yan's body and immediately nodded, All right. You need to quickly get him out. Otherwise, if he is discovered during the inspection, we will be reprimanded by Elder Lu. Yes. Ho Hu nodded. That instructor Qin Li only turned around and left after seeing Ho Hu nodding his head. After his gaze saw Qin Li vanish around a corner, Ho Hu turned his gaze toward Xiao Yan and spoke in an uncertain manner. Brother Xiao Yan, isn't your training over? Why are you still wandering around here? He he, Brother Ho, I have something that I wish to ask for your help with. Xiao Yan leaned forward a little and hinted with a smile. What is the matter about? Ho Hu blinked his eyes and asked. He he, Brother Ho, you should also know that with my current strength, I am unable to obtain any effects by training on the first level. Hence. I wish to go a few levels down to train. May I know if you can accommodate me? Xiao Yan asked softly. Go a couple of levels down. Ho Hu was startled when he heard this. He immediately shook his head and said, Brother Xiao Yan, 
I know that the effect of training at the first level is not very notable for someone of your strength. However, according to the rules, no matter how strong the new students are, they must train at the first level for one week before that can enter and train in the few levels below. Regardless of what your strength is like, the grilling of the heart flame would ultimately cause the dochi to be filled with some fire poison. This thing cannot be taken lightly. During these many years in the inner academy, there had been quite a number of people who have suffered irreversible losses because of the accumulation of the fire potion. Additionally, the grilling of the heart flame also requires some time to get used to. In this blazing sky chi refining tower, the strength of the heart flame and its degree of heat are increased exponentially every level down. You have not gotten used to the first level. It would be a little too risky to go down. After hearing this large chunk of words from Ho Hu, Xiao Yan immediately felt a giddiness in his head. A long while later, he helplessly shook his head, pointed at his eyes and said, Old brother Ho, the Qi method which I practice may not be of a high class but it has a little special effect, it has a certain resistance toward poisons like the fire poison. Hence, you need not worry that I will be injured in any way because of the fire poison. As for adaptation, you can also rest assured. I have heard that usually those who are at the strength of around a five-star Dadoshi would usually be able to enter the third level to train. I am now only entering the second level. There would not be too much of an effect. Ho Hu was stunned as he stared at Xiao Yan's dark black, ink-like eyes. After working in the inner academy for so many years, he understood the fire poison extremely well. Hence, as long as he saw the other party's eyes once, he would be able to identify whether there was fire poison in a person's body. However, when he looked at Xiao Yan's eyes at this moment, it appeared that Xiao Yan had really not been affected by the erosion of the fire potion. All right, I believe that you have a resistance to fire poison. However, even if this is the case, it does not really follow the rules, it was a long while later before Ho Hu sighed and nodded as he spoke somewhat grudgingly. Seeing Ho Hu's indecisive manner, Xiao Yan took a step forward. He flipped his hand and another jade bottle was stuffed into Ho Hu's hands without leaving a trace. He smiled and said, Brother Ho. You frequently work inside this tower. Although you are strong, it is likely that it is extremely difficult for the fire poison that your body absorbs every day to disappear. This bottle of medicinal pill is called Ice Spirit Pill. It may not be of a high tier but it has the effect of suppressing fire poison. Ho Hu's heart pounded when a jade bottle was once again stuffed into his hand. After he heard Xiao Yan explain the effect of this medicinal pill, the hand of his which was holding the jade bottle immediately tightened. It appeared that he was afraid that it would immediately flee. It was just as Xiao Yan had said. As they frequently worked in this tower, the fire poison that the instructors suffered from was actually much more serious than the students. Moreover, there was the additional issue of not having sufficient rest occasionally. Hence, it was difficult to completely resolve the fire poison issue in them. After continuing in this manner for a long while, it was unavoidable that the flame in their hearts would rise occasionally, resulting in problems during their training. Everyone knew the danger should something go wrong with one's training. Hence, when Ho Hu came to know that this medicinal pill actually contained the effect of suppressing fire poison, his heart was filled with surprise and joy at this moment. Although it merely had a suppression effect and could not expel the fire poison, Ho Hu was still extremely satisfied. Therefore, after musing for a while, he laughed bitterly and sighed. His gaze eyed Xiao Yan somewhat strangely and said, the things that you take out always cause people to be reluctant to reject your requests. Ah, all right. I will take a risk for you today. Follow me. Once he said that, Ho Hu's eyes swiftly swept all around him. After which, he pulled Xiao Yan, passed through a corner before swiftly walking to a spot in the middle of the room. Xiao Yan heaved a long sigh of relief as he followed behind Ho Hu. The refinement of this ice spirit pill may be a little complicated, but it was not difficult. It was really unexpected that it actually had such a unique effect when it was used to bribe people. It really was a situation of something being used in the most suitable area. 
After following behind Ho Hu for nearly five minutes, Xiao Yan finally sensed that the former had slowly reduced his pace. His eyes looked to the front and was coincidentally able to see that there was a spiral-shaped staircase at a corner not far away. It was likely the entrance to the next level. Fortunately, I am guarding the door today. Otherwise, I really could not let you down. Hey, don't move, be careful. There is a space glass placed here. You will only be rebounded by the force contained on it if you randomly charge in. The fate of that is to be, at the very least, seriously injured. Ho Hu swiftly walked to the entrance to the stairs. He said those words before he hurriedly held Xiao Yan who wanted to walk around him. Only after being reminded by Ho Hu did Xiao Yan realize that the space at the entrance indeed had a faint feeling of being distorted. Immediately, he could not help but release cold sweat from being shocked. The interior of this blazing sky chi refining tower really had various mechanisms and traps all around. If one was not careful, one would end up being seriously injured. After shocking Xiao Yan until he was still, Ho Hu extended his hand and removed the badge on his chest before he carefully placed it in a hidden notch on a wall to the side. As the badge pressed on it, a slight fluctuation suddenly appeared in the space in front. In the time it took to blink a couple of times, Xiao Yan realized that the distorted space feeling had already completely disappeared. Can I go in now? Xiao Yan carefully asked. Yes, the space glass has already been removed. You can now go down by yourself. After you enter, I need to continue watching this place. Only tomorrow morning when the tower door opens will this place be opened. Ho Hu nodded and said. Brother Ho Hu, thank you very much. Xiao Yan rejoiced when he heard this. He cupped his hands toward Ho Hu with gratitude before carefully extending his hand into the empty space in front of him. He touched around before he felt at ease as he walked down the stairs. Remember, if you cannot endure the grilling of the heart flame at the second level, find a place to rest. Come back up to train after the tower is opened tomorrow. Ho Hu reminded Xiao Yan. KK, I understand. Thank you very much brother Ho. Ho Hu's kind reminder caused Xiao Yan to smile and nod his head. He once again cupped his hands toward the former. With a flash of his body, he entered into the corner of the spiral staircase and disappeared. Ho Hu tossed the jade bottle in his hand before carefully storing it away. He eyed the spot which Xiao Yan had disappeared from and sighed gently. In a soft voice, he said, little fellow. Training in the lower levels may allow you to train faster but that is on the precondition that you can withstand the heart flame. Hopefully, you will really be able to endure. Chapter 477, Exploration and Meeting Xiao Yan walked along the spiral-shaped staircase for around five minutes before the sight in front of him suddenly became spacious. His body once again turned around a corner, and another spacious level within the tower appeared in his sight. The size of the second level of the blazing sky chi refining tower did not differ much from the first level. However, compared to the first level, it appeared a little more desolate. Moreover, it did not contain the congested feeling of the first level. Although there were small groups of students who were repeatedly walking past, it was undoubtedly much better compared to the, the situation in the first level where even walking was difficult. Xiao Yan's appearance caused the students who had come out from the surrounding training rooms to get a temporary rest to feel somewhat strange. However, there was not much commotion. Everyone's gaze shifted away after they swept over Xiao Yan's body. They talked privately among themselves, appearing doubtful about why Xiao Yan was still able to come down at this time. Xiao Yan withdrew his gaze that was sweeping all around him. He was not too concerned about the gazes around him. He walked slowly and headed to the second level within the tower. Xiao Yan breathed in a mouthful of the somewhat hot air after entering the tower. He could sense that the fiery heat contained in the air of this second level was far greater compared to the first level. It appeared that each time one descended one level within this blazing sky chi refining tower, the temperature would be much higher. He really did not know just how hot the last level was. It was likely only some elders would dare to enter that kind of place. 
Xiao Yan moved his feet and slowly walked through this corridor which had a circular path. On the left side of the corridor were the low-grade training rooms at the outermost section of the tower. However, Xiao Yan's aim was not here. Hence, he did not pause his footsteps as he continued to walk along the corridor and entered into the inner part of the tower. After nearly seven or eight minutes, he arrived at the middle-grade training room area toward the inner part of the tower. Xiao Yan stood in front of a middle-grade training room where a tag, which represented there was no one within, was hung outside. He hesitated a little and did not immediately enter it to train. After musing for a while, he quietly headed to the middle area of this level. Since he had intentions on getting the fallen heart flame, he needed to figure out just what exactly was the bottomless black pit in the middle. Xiao Yan walked out of the middle grade training room area and headed for the high grade training room area. The training rooms here undoubtedly appeared more exquisite compared to those outside. Moreover, they were much fewer in numbers. Xiao Yan carefully counted and realized that there were only 18 high grade training rooms. Moreover, a special tag that indicated that there was someone training within was hanging outside the doors of these training rooms at this moment. Clearly, these training rooms had already been occupied by people. A tall, enclosed wall stood further in the high-grade training room area. Three middle-aged men wearing instructor badges on each of their chests stood straight by the metal door at the bottom of the enclosed wall while wearing an indifferent expression. When they saw Xiao Yan, who was at the intersection on the other side, the three of them threw over their gazes in union. Their gazes were filled with warning. Seeing the tight defense, Xiao Yan could not help but shake his head in his heart. He could only give up the thought of inspecting. His gaze simply looked randomly around him before he turned around as though nothing had happened and headed to the middle grade training room area which he had passed while coming here. Although Xiao Yan's footsteps were slowly leaving, Xiao Yan could still sense that the gazes of the three instructor were firmly placed on his body. This cautious defense really caused Xiao Yan to be a little speechless. Looks like there should be a secret that cannot be made public at the middle area. Otherwise, there would not be such a tight defense. Ah, this damn fallen heart flame is really troublesome. Xiao Yan muttered in his heart. His footsteps slowly paused as he raised his head to eye the small-sized middle-grade training room not far away. This kind of small-sized training room could only accommodate three to five people to train. It obviously could not be compared to the kind of spaces on the first level. Xiao Yan looked left and right only to realize that there was only this room that carried a tag that informed people an empty spot remained in the room. Immediately, he moved his feet toward the middle-grade training room and hurriedly walked over. When he approached this middle-grade training room, Xiao Yan gently pushed open the room's door. After which, he entered the room lightly, flipped his hand and closed it. Warm light shone throughout every single corner of the training room. In the middle of this training room, there were five stone platforms which were around two to three feet apart. There were people seated cross-legged and training on four of these stone platform. Hence, Xiao Yan could only lift his leg and walk toward the remaining empty stone platform. Perhaps it was because of the sound of the door opening but when Xiao Yan entered the training room, the four closed-eyed students opened them. Their gazes revealed an alertness as they watched Xiao Yan walk over. They sighed in relief only when they did not discover any badge that represented a faction on his body. Xiao Yan's gaze swept over the four of them. He similarly discovered that they did not have any badges that represented any faction on their chest. It was likely that they were free people, who were those students that did not join any faction. Although Xiao Yan did not wear the badge of any factions, the four people did not take the initiative to open their mouths to speak. They simply used their gazes to observe every single action of Xiao Yan. Four to Doshi. However, Seeing their unstable cheese, it is likely that they advanced to the Dadoshi class not long ago. Xiao Yan sat cross-legged on the dark black platform. His gaze randomly swept over the back of the four of them and immediately muttered in his heart. Xiao Yan flicked his hand and a green-colored fire crystal card appeared in it. Green fire crystal card. The moment the crystal card appeared in Xiao Yan's hand, 
four shocked voices immediately sounded in this training room. These voices contained some shock, envy, and yearning. Xiao Yan could not help but raise his eyebrows when he sensed the four yearning gazes that were shot from around him. He snorted as a powerful qi surged out from within his body. As they sensed the powerful qi that surged out from Xiao Yan's body, the expressions of the four of them involuntarily changed a little. They hurriedly withdrew their covetous gaze and no longer dared to display the slightest greed. Looking at the qi which Xiao Yan displayed, he was undoubtedly much stronger than them. Seeing that these fellows were shaken, Xiao Yan slowly withdrew his qi. The green fire crystal card was inserted into the notch in front of him. Immediately, a faint glow was emitted. During the time this glow shot out explosively, Xiao Yan suddenly realized that two days of fire energy was deducted from the number of fire energy in his fire crystal card at one go. Xiao Yan frowned slightly and muttered in his heart, Don't tell me that the further one descends, the fee required to train for one day also increases? This inner academy is really harsh. Xiao Yan helplessly shook his head. He gradually closed his eyes as his hands formed the training seal in front of him. A while later, his breathing gradually became calm and he once again entered into his training condition. Over ten old men were seated orderly in a spacious large bright room. Under the warm light, one was able to clearly see the badges that they wore on their chest. They were shockingly all special badges which only elders had the qualification to wear. Although the room was large, the atmosphere was somewhat depressing. A long while later, an old man seated on the leader's chair with an appearance that one could not clearly see coughed softly. He took the lead to break the silence in the room as an old voice slowly resounded across the interior of the room, that thing is beginning to be unstable again during these few days. The remaining old men frowned when they heard his words. After observing it during this period of time, I discovered that the fluctuations which it emitted are much more intense than in the past. Moreover, from the emotions that it emits, it has also become increasingly irritable, the old voice continued to talk as it pleased, from the looks of the situation, I'm afraid that within these few years, a huge counterattack will appear. If it is not handled properly, I'm afraid that it will be an extremely great trouble. What about if we join hands and reinforce the defense once again? If that is really not going to work, let us inform the headmasters of the inner and outer academy. This thing cannot be exposed. Otherwise, those fellows from the Black Corner region might covet and charge over to snatch it. Although our inner academy is deep within the mountains, it is coincidentally not far from the northern part of the Black Corner region. Once something happens, those old fellows who have been paying attention to the inner academy will immediately rush over after hearing the news. With their experience, the seal on the blazing sky chi refining tower may not escape their notice, an old man voiced his thoughts. It is a must to strengthen the defense, however, the headmaster is undergoing a deep retreat. The outer academy headmaster is also likely to head out and travel around. No one knows where he is now. The old man at the leader's seat slowly shook his head. He mused for a moment before he suddenly lifted his head and threw a gaze toward an elder in a corner. He said, Elder Lu, how is that little fellow who possesses a heavenly flame now? He is currently training in the second level. Perhaps it is because he also possesses a heavenly flame, but he is actually not afraid of the fire poison erosion. I have also did as first elder has instructed and gave him sufficient care. Elder Lu, who had met Xiao Yan once, hurriedly stood up and replied respectfully. Ah! The black-robed old man in the leader's seat nodded slightly. His old voice appeared a little low, ah, it really is unexpected. A fallen heart flame caused our inner academy to rise. Yet, a little fellow who is not even twenty years old actually possesses such a mysterious object all by himself. It really causes people to be envious. All elders, if you meet this little fellow, you can try to make things convenient for him. Perhaps, when the fallen heart flame rebels in the future, we may need to rely on his strength. Ah, we cannot underestimate the strength of a heavenly flame. Such a mysterious object is born from assembling the spirits of the heavens and earth. 
it possesses destructive strength. If one is not careful, I'm afraid that even the inner academy can face the threat of being destroyed. The first elder whose entire body was wrapped in a black robe sighed and said. Yes. The ten plus elders who were extremely respected by the inner academy's students all stood up at this moment and replied in union. Yes, all right. All of you can disperse. Oh, that's right. Remember to watch the movement of those large factions in the northern region of the Black Corner region all the time. Especially those few fellows. There has been some unusual action in the Blood Sect recently. I heard that it is because of the death of that old fellow's son. It really doesn't allow us to stay relaxed, the first elder waved his hand and coughed a couple of times before speaking. All the elders nodded slightly. Their bodies immediately swayed, and they turned into vague black shadows that accompanied a breeze and disappeared from this tight room. When everyone from the room had disappeared, that first elder, whose entire body was wrapped within a black robe, finally stood up slowly. As his body straightened, it actually became increasingly illusionary. When he completely stood up from the chair, his body had already strangely disappeared from the room. Chapter 478, Seven Star Dadoshi The invisible flame soared and burned within Xiao Yan's heart. Threads of Doshi swarmed out unceasingly from the Do crystal. After which, they passed through the refinement of the flame, and once again returned to the Do crystal within the vortex. Under this perfect cycle, the Do crystal, which was originally only the size of a thumb was already nearing the size of a pigeon egg. Moreover, the glow that was contained on the surface of it was becoming increasingly bright. This change of the Do crystal naturally did not escape Xiao Yan attention. Since he was in a training state, he was not too certain just how long he had trained this time around. However, from looking at the powerful Dou Qi contained within the Dou Crystal, it appeared that he had already reached the peak of a six-star Dou Qi. Perhaps he would be able to truly enter the seven-star Dou Qi level very soon. The heart flame rose endlessly near his heart, providing Xiao Yan with inexhaustible refining energy. All the cycles currently in Xiao Yan's body were basically in a sort of an automatic process after having circulated for a long time. The Dou Qi did not require the control of Xiao Yan's mind as it swarmed out of the Dou Crystal by itself, followed the path of the cycle, passed through the flame, and finally returned to the Dou Crystal once again. Xiao Yan was naturally not foolish enough to break this kind of automatic training condition that was relatively difficult to come across. He simply quietly watched the increasingly bright glow of the Dou Crystal by the side. There was no concept of time when it came to training. When Xiao Yan's somewhat chaotic mind was once again woken up by a strange fluctuation, he was surprised to realize that the rhombus Dou Crystal within the vortex was actually like a star, repeatedly pulsating with a unique glow. This sudden action of the Dou Crystal caused Xiao Yan to feel surprise for a while before he understood with great joy that the chance for advancement had actually arrived. Xiao Yan forcefully suppressed the wild joy that had rose within his heart. He did not issue any order to the Dou Crystal, but merely adopted the attitude of an observer as he carefully watched its actions. The rhombus-shaped Dou Crystal was suspended within the vortex. Suddenly, a suction force seeped out from within it. Following the appearance of this suction force, Xiao Yan could sense that the powerful Dou Qi, which was still flowing through the Qi paths in his body, appeared to have received a dragging force. It began to turn into a turbulent flood water as it carried a muted bang and swiftly swarmed into the vortex located in his lower abdomen. At this moment, not only was the interior of Xiao Yan's body experiencing a change but a large movement had also appeared on the exterior of his body. The moment the Dou Crystal emitted a suction force, the energy that was spread all over Xiao Yan's body involuntarily swiftly fluctuated. A moment later, waves of heated energy began to wildly pour into Xiao Yan at the middle. The energy in the training room far exceeded the outside world. Hence, when the energy was pouring in, the people around could even see a partially visible energy swirl being swiftly formed with Xiao Yan at the middle. The remaining four students within the training room were also awakened from their training condition due to the shock from the sudden movement. 
they were startled when their gazes saw the energy swirl over the surface of Xiao Yan's body. Immediately, their faces were filled with envy. Clearly, they knew what this movement meant. This fellow has trained without eating or sleeping for nearly four days. He really is an abnormal being, a student-eyed Xiao Yan who was wildly absorbing the surrounding energy and involuntarily whispered. Since Xiao Yan arrived at this training place four days ago, he had not made even the slightest movement. During these four days, the other four students had all left to rest a couple of times before returning to the tower to train. Xiao Yan, on the other hand, had continued training until this day under their astonished eyes. If it were not for Xiao Yan's calm breathing, it was likely that they would have already reported it to the instructor within the tower. I have inquired around today. This fellow is the leader of the new students this year. He is called Xiao Yan and is very strong. Rumor has it that even Fu Ao from the White Gang was defeated by him. A lady with a somewhat tender and lovely appearance stared at Xiao Yan's face and carefully informed the rest. He is Xiao Yan? Hey, originally I did not really believe the rumors about him. However, now that I have seen him, it looks like they are true. A surprise immediately swarmed onto the faces of the other three students when they heard this. Clearly, they did not find Xiao Yan's name unfamiliar despite them not having joined any faction. SHH, be a little quieter. If we are to accidentally interrupt his advancement, we will be in trouble, that lady placed a finger on her lips as she softly chastised. Yes. The remaining three nodded slightly. They similarly understood just what kind of fury a person would have should their advancement be interrupted. The Dou Crystal in Xiao Yan's vortex repeatedly released a suction force. The Dou Qi within his Qi paths had been completely withdrawn. The Dou Qi that endlessly swarmed into his body from outside was not immediately absorbed into the Dou Crystal like the Dou Qi in his body. Instead, it was controlled such that it passed through that invisible flame within his body, undergoing a refinement. After which, it once again followed the Qi paths in his body and completed a cycle before it entered into the Dou Crystal under the observation of Xiao Yan's pleased mind. Although no one controlled the actions of the Dou Crystal, the latter completed this absorption, circulation, refinement, and other steps without any mistake. Its control over the strength of the flame was perfect. Xiao Yan would likely be unable to achieve such a level of control if he controlled it himself. Xiao Yan's action of totally washing his hands off and not bothering about anything appeared to have coincidentally allowed him to obtain a greater achievement. As time flowed by, the suction force that was emitted from within the Dou Crystal grew increasingly powerful. The energy that poured into his body from the outside world also grew increasingly swift. If it were not because of the special terrain at this place and that the invisible flame could unceasingly appear, perhaps even the flame which refined the energy would cease working because of exhaustion of its energy. Once the invisible flame disappeared, this refinement step would automatically disappear. At that time, Xiao Yan might have to personally take the helm. Otherwise, if he allowed the modeled energies to enter into his Dou Crystal, it was likely that he would not only have no hope to advance, but it would also cause him damage that would be difficult to remedy. All the activities in the interior of Xiao Yan's body and the outside world were being orderly carried out under the command of his Dou Crystal. This advancement was undoubtedly the easiest one Xiao Yan had experienced. By borrowing the effect of the invisible flame, Xiao Yan had successfully become a leader who abandoned his duty for once. When the suction force in the Dou Crystal had been emitted for around 20 minutes, it finally began to weaken. As the suction force weakened, the energy swirl that Xiao Yan had created also slowly became weaker and finally completely disappeared. The final thread of somewhat modeled energy passed through the invisible flame. Its body, which had shrunk by nearly ten times, was finally carried and circulated in a complete cycle through the Qi paths before entering the Dou Crystal within the vortex. As the final threads of Dou Qi poured in, the somewhat trembling Dou Crystal suddenly stilled. The glow which it emitted suddenly surged. Bright intense light shone on every single spot within his body. Under the shine of this strange powerful light, Xiao Yan could vaguely feel his qi paths, bones, and even cells emitting an inaudible relaxed sigh. 
the strange powerful light continued for merely ten seconds before it slowly withdrew. A moment later, the light grew increasingly dim until it finally disappeared. The moment the powerful glow disappeared, the dough crystal which was hidden within it appeared. When the dough crystal appeared, it let out a slight tremble. A thread of powerful dough chi swarmed out. Finally, it was entrenched into his chi paths like a green-colored torrent. It swiftly channeled past, giving Xiao Yan repeated feelings of being filled with energy. Xiao Yan's mind studied the rhombus-shaped dough crystal, which was nearly two to three circular layers larger than before. He sensed the dough chi reserve was more than twice what it was before. Xiao Yan could not help but let out a long sigh of relief. At least this tough training of his was not wasted. As Xiao Yan's tensed heart slowly relaxed, he was gradually unable to maintain his training condition. His spirit was a little too giddy and he immediately withdrew from his training condition. Xiao Yan slowly opened his eyes within the spacious training room. A faint green-colored glow flashed across his dark black eyes. He lifted his head slightly and swept it toward the other four people in the room. When they saw him sweep his gaze over, the remaining four people hurriedly turned their gazes away. At this moment, Xiao Yan had just completed his advancement and the force all over his body had reached its peak. How could they, as people who had just advanced to the Dadoshi class, contend with him? Xiao Yan did not bother with the four people. He released a long turbid breath. His dark black eyes immediately became even deeper and more transparent. Xiao Yan twisted his body and adjusted himself quietly before he withdrew the green fire crystal card in front of him. He randomly glanced at it with his pupils and was stunned to realize that eight days of fire energy had been deducted. How long have I trained for? Xiao Yan frowned, turned his head and asked a student. Four days, seeing that Xiao Yan had voiced a question, that student hurriedly replied honestly. I actually trained for four days. No wonder, Xiao Yan muttered helplessly. However, he rejoiced slightly within his heart. He had merely trained for four days, yet he had actually broken through to the seven-star level. If it was in the outside world, this was impossible without one or two months. This fallen heart flame, does indeed have unceasing wonders, its split body that shoots into people's hearts can actually cause a person to raise their training speed to such an extent. If one possessed its actual body, just how frightening will one's training speed be? Xiao Yan praised once before he stood up. He directly walked out of the training room. After training for four days without rest or sleep, he needed to temporarily rest for a while. Although working hard when training was good, Xiao Yan also knew that one would not be able to achieve anything if one overdid things. Chapter 479 the changes of Pan's Gate. The warm sunlight scattered down as Xiao Yan walked out of the tower, causing Xiao Yan, who had stayed in the tower for a full five days, to have an impulse to simply lie down and not move. He covered his face with his hand and gazed at the blue sky through the gap between his fingers. He involuntarily inhaled a deep breath of fresh air with all his might. Although training in the blazing sky chi refining tower was able to let one train at a faster pace, that kind of dullness caused people's hearts to be far too depressed. The inner academy had also thought of this point, which was why the light within the tower was made such that it was warm but not gloomy. However, no matter what was done, the tower was ultimately a tower. No matter how sufficient the light was within the tower, it would still feel like a cage-like area in anyone's eyes. Only by looking at the vast sky outside would one be able to feel one's emotions opening up. No wonder the Inner Academy tries to think of all ways to prohibit students from staying in the tower for too long. By staying for a long time, a deformity might really form in one's mentality, Xiao Yan quietly muttered. Only then did he move his feet and walk along the path that slowly headed for the area where Pan's Gate was it. I have not come out for four days. I wonder just how Sun E R and the rest are. They should not have encountered any problems. As Xiao Yan thought in this manner within his heart, his footsteps involuntarily increased in speed. Having walked this path for quite a number of times, Xiao Yan did not reach the point of making the mistake of being lost. Hence, 
after half an hour of rushing, the new student's residence area appeared in his sight. His hurried footsteps also became a little slower after discovering that there was nothing amiss. Using a laid-back pace, Xiao Yan slowly walked into the residence area when his footsteps suddenly came to a halt. He knit his brows together as he eyed the four students at the entrance of the residence area as his eyes swiftly swept over their chests, only to discover a similar badge on them. The badge was entirely pale green in color and there was a black colored object carved onto it. What faction do these people belong to? Don't tell me that they are here to find trouble with us again. A thought flashed across Xiao Yan's heart. His expression became much darker and gloomier. Were these fellows not being too much like bullies? They had come to create trouble time and time again. Did they really think that these new students did not have a temper? Xiao Yan moved his hand slightly and an enormous heavy ruler strangely flashed and appeared. He held the hilt of the ruler tightly as he walked toward the four students at the entrance with a dark and solemn face. The dark and deep anger on his face was something that anyone could see. At this moment, the four students at the door also saw Xiao Yan. They were immediately startled before the four of them directly rushed over to Xiao Yan. Xiao Yan narrowed his eyes and directly watched the four people. His toes stepped on the ground. However, his body had just rushed forward when the excited cries from the mouths of the four people caused his face to be stunned. Chief, you are finally back. The heavy ruler in his hand was abruptly inserted into the ground, using this to stop his body which was just about to charge forward. He was surprised as he eyed the four people who had come to his side. A long while later, he asked somewhat uncertainly, You are, people from Pan's Gate. He he. Yes. A young man among them who had an ordinary face, but a brilliant smile, nodded and spoke with that smile on his face, Senior Sun Er said that since we are a faction, we should have a badge that belongs to us. She said that this would increase the sense of belonging the members have toward Pan's Gate. Xiao Yan sighed in relief within his heart. He felt a little ashamed. As a leader, he was really somewhat irresponsible. He was actually not able to remember the faces of the members and had even nearly attacked them earlier. Xiao Yan swept his gaze over the four people. Now that they had come close to him, Xiao Yan realized that the black-colored object on the badge seemed to be the heavy Xian ruler in his hand while that green-colored background seemed to be the same color as his green lotus core flame. This girl is really quite meticulous, Xiao Yan laughed softly, patted the four excited people beside him and asked. Sun Er should be inside, right? Yes, Senior Sun Er is inside. Now, our Pan's Gate also have our own guard unit. Every day, four people will take turns to stand guard and protect the residents. Moreover, there are ten members waiting for orders inside at any one time, ready to handle any unexpected situations. Senior Sun Er gave the other members the freedom of movement so that they can be familiar with the geography of the Inner Academy as soon as possible. That young man appeared to be eloquent. He was leading the way while talking about the changes that had happened to Pan's Gate during these short four days as though he was pouring beans. Xiao Yan quietly listened to him speak and could not help but praise within his heart. This girl really did have some ability. In just a few short days, she was able to consolidate Pan's gate such that it appeared totally new. These kind of measures were something that Xiao Yan, who was used to being alone, could not produce. When they were entering into the entrance of the residence area, the other three members of Pan's gate paused. They continued to perform sentry while that eloquent young man continued to lead the way at the front until he brought Xiao Yan to the small pavilion home at the innermost area. Only then did he stop. He <laughs> he. Chief, you can go in by yourself. I still need to return to do sentry. Senior Sun Er said that as long as we complete three full days of sentry and that no unexpected events happen during this period of time, we will be able to receive one day of fire energy. The other brothers and sisters are all snatching to do this work now. Ha <laughs> ha. The young man smiled and explained after he stopped walking. Xiao Yan opened his mouth when he saw the young man's somewhat urgent and prideful face. His heart was finally filled with admiration. 
the girl had merely used some simple means to cause people to compete for the work of doing sentry. Although this kind of means was not too special, how many factions within the inner academy had the boldness and resolution to take out fire energy as a reward? They themselves would feel that there was not enough of it. Xiao Yan, who had went to the second level of the blazing sky chi refining tower, clearly understood just how large the demand for fire energy was in the lower parts of the tower. What is your name? Xiao Yan smiled and asked just before the young man left. Chief, I am called Tai Mu. You must definitely look for me if you have problems in the future. Even if I cannot win in a fight, there are many brothers within our pan's gate. The young man who called himself Tai Mu smiled as he rubbed his face, feeling a little shock at the great treatment Xiao Yan was giving him by inquiring for his name. KK, all right. You should go and do your stuff. Xiao Yan nodded. He eyed the back of the other person as the latter ran with large steps and once again sighed at the changes of Pan's Gate. The current Pan's Gate was filled with an extremely solid cohesion. This kind of strength was the most basic factor that would enable a faction to grow. Xiao Yan smiled in his heart as he turned around and pushed open the door to the pavilion home before slowly walking in. Upon entering the pavilion home, Xiao Yan's gaze swept in all directions before finally stopping on a windowsill on the second story, where the beautiful back of someone carefully watering a flower was. At this moment, faint sunlight poured through the window, shining on the tall and delicate body. The body was like a green lotus swaying under the sunlight, appearing elegant and otherworldly, but was filled with temptation at the same time. Xiao Yan's gaze was somewhat blurred as he watched that beautiful figure. He remained quiet, unwilling to break this beautiful drawing. Xiao Yan Ji Ji. No matter how beautiful the drawing was, there would ultimately come a time when one returned to reality. After she placed the watering pot in her hand down, the young lady finally saw the black-robed young man below. A faint joy and sleek redness involuntarily surfaced on her exquisite face. Xiao Yan recovered when he heard the clear voice of the young lady. He smiled at the latter before slowly walking up to the second story. As his hands rubbed Sun Er's head, he smiled and praised, Girl, not bad. I didn't expect that in only four days, you would have managed Pan's Gate in such a manner. I have really underestimated you. There is also elder sister Hu Jia's efforts here. Seeing that there was no strange expression on Xiao Yan's face, Sun Er quietly sighed in relief. She naturally pulled at Xiao Yan's hand and said with a lovely smile. It is fortunate that there are the both of you. Otherwise, this pan's gate would sooner or later be managed by Wu Hao and me until it is about to collapse, Xiao Yan laughed bitterly. He understood his own ability. Moreover, Wu Hao, that fighting lunatic was clearly no expert in management. That's right, where is Hu Jia and Wu Hao? Xiao Yan swept in gaze in all direction and asked uncertainly. Sun Er pursed her lips and laughed softly. She said, Elder Sister Hu Jia has gone to the Do Technique Hall. She wants to see if there are any high-class Do Technique suitable for her there. As for Wu Hao, he went to the fighting arena. Moreover, he has not come back for the past two days, but Xiao Yan Ge Ge need not worry. There are people from our Pan's Gate there. Someone will inform us if there is something wrong. Xiao Yan nodded slightly. He eyed that artfully smiling, splendid and exquisite face, and his heart could not help but pound. He extended his hand and held that delicate narrow waist which filled his grip. After which, he pulled the somewhat embarrassed Sun Er into a tight hug. You've worked hard. Sun Er, Xiao Yan's chin was placed in front of Sun Er's forehead as he softly muttered. Why is Xiao Yan Ji Ji being so courteous to Sun Er? When we were young, Sun Er suddenly smiled. Before she had completed saying what she wanted to, she was interrupted by Xiao Yan. During these few years, you have already repaid me by over a hundredfold for those accidental actions that I did when I was young, Xiao Yan softly sighed. What this girl had given to him was a little too much. Originally, with her elegant lotus-like character, it was very difficult for her to worry about a certain man in her heart. 
Moreover, with her outstandingness, there were truly very few men of similar age who could catch her eye. Although the strength on the surface was but a seven-star Dadoshi, Xiao Yan would never forget how she, as a person who had just become a Doja back then at Wutan City, had unleashed the strength of a Dadoshi because of the alchemist Lu Xi, whom the Jiali clan had hired. Three years ago, she was able to reach the strength of a Dadoshi. Three years later. As he thought up to this point, Xiao Yan once again laughed bitterly. Sun Yar's face gently leaned against Xiao Yan's chest. Sun Yar did not mind. A stubborn shallow arc was lifted at the corner of her mouth. A moment later, she suddenly recalled something and her expression became straight. She broke free from Xiao Yan's chest and pulled him along as she hurriedly walked into her room. What is it? Sun Yar's action caused Xiao Yan to be startled as he asked doubtfully. There's someone I want you to see. Sun Yar smiled. She gently clapped with her delicate hand. The dark shadow from a corner of the room was suddenly slowly extended. After which, it agglomerated together and wiggled swiftly. In Xiao Yan's somewhat shocked gaze, the dark shadow gradually agglomerated into the human figure of an old man. Finally, a somewhat familiar face that carried a smile appeared in Xiao Yan's eyes. KK, young friend Xiao Yan. Have you been well since we parted? The old man could not help but ask with a smile when he saw Xiao Yan's increasingly stunned gaze. You, you are old man Ling. Xiao Yan's eyes stared at the old man in front of him. A moment later, he spoke in a somewhat disbelieving manner. Old man Ling. The old man who had appeared in front of Xiao Yan was shockingly that mysterious Do Huang helper with an unknown background back when the latter had charged into the Misty Cloud sect. Chapter 480, Tio Yushi Ancient Gods Jade Seeing Xiao Yan stunned as well as astonished manner, Ling Ying smiled and nodded. He bowed slightly toward Sun Er. Young lady, young lady. Xiao Yan gradually recovered from his dumbfoundedness. When he heard the manner in which Ling Ying addressed Sun Er, his gaze involuntarily turned toward the latter. There was some relief in his eyes as he frowned slightly and said, the both of you. KK, young master Xiao Yan. Around less than half a year after you have left Wutan City, I obeyed young lady's dispatch and arrived at the Jiuma Empire. I went to search for your traces and to quietly protect you along the way. Ling Ying smiled and explained, you should not blame young lady for making her own decision to intervene in your matter. It is just that the Yu then was alone and weak. It was extremely dangerous to venture out into the Jiuma Empire alone. After arriving at the Jianan Academy young lady was really worried. Hence, she got me to quietly go and protect you. Originally, I was the final protection that the clan had arranged for young lady. During that period of time that I was not around her was perhaps the period of time when young lady's protection was at its weakest. Now, you may perhaps vaguely know how enormous the faction behind Young Lady is. Hence, there are quite a number of people who have intentions toward Young Lady. Fortunately, this Jianan Academy is indeed worthy of being an ancient academy renowned throughout the continent and did not allow any trouble to befall Young Lady. Otherwise, I'm afraid that I will have to receive an extremely strict dressing down by the clan head. Ling Ying smiled as he spoke. The hidden meaning behind these words was to allow Xiao Yan to understand clearly just how much of a risk Sun Er took to ensure his safety and not form any resentful emotions toward Sun Er because of this. After having been with Xiao Yan for a period of time, he clearly knew that this fellow had a great discrimination against monitoring him in secret. Xiao Yan was naturally able to hear the meaning behind Ling Ying's words. Immediately he sighed softly patted Sun Er's head with his hand and laughed bitterly, You this girl, what problems will I have? You have really underestimated me. Seeing that there was no blaming look on Xiao Yan's expression, Sun Er quietly sighed in relief. She suddenly smiled but did not open her mouth to explain herself. Old Ling, the last time, we parted in a hurry. Now that we have meet, Xiao Yan will once again say thank you for lending a hand last time. Xiao Yan stood straight and bowed slightly toward Ling Ying while speaking in a deep voice. 
KK, why does young Master Xiaoyan need to be so courteous? I merely did as I was ordered. Ling Ying hurriedly waved his hand and replied. Xiaoyan Ge Ge. This time around, the main reason for me letting you meet with old Ling is because I have got him to carefully investigate the movement of the experts within our clan during this period of time. He did not discover any elite Dohuangs entering the Jiuma Empire during these few years, Sun Er softly said. Xiao Yan was startled when he heard this. Originally, he merely suspected that there was some relationship between his father's disappearance and the faction behind Sun Er. However, after he had discussed it with her, his doubt had become fainter. However, he did not expect that this girl had actually gone to the trouble of sending people to investigate. Young Master Xiao Yan, the matter of your father's disappearance is indeed not related to us. The Xiao clan or perhaps I should say the Xiao clan from a long time ago has some deep relations to us. There are far too many favors and grudges within this relationship, there have indeed been some strong people within the clan who suggested we bring all the members of your Xiao clan back. However, they chose to give up due to the enormous dispute. Ling Ying mused for a moment before he slowly spoke, in the recent few years, there has seldom been anyone who brought up this matter. Hence, your father's disappearance should be done by someone else. Xiao Yan frowned intently and sighed. His voice was low and deep as he said, Our Xiao clan is but a second-rate faction within an empire. How can it bother a strong Dohuang such that he would act against it? If this is the case, it is likely that the greatest suspicion still lies with the Misty Cloud sect. Ah! That damn first elder! Xiao Zhan went missing while being chased by that first elder of the Misty Cloud sect. Moreover, there was no one else present at that time. Therefore, whether the person went missing or was secretly kidnapped by him was likely something that no one else would know other than him. However, the party involved was already dead now. The traces of Xiao Zhan had become even more bewildering. However, no matter how one looked at this matter, it has some relation with the Misty Cloud sect. Back then Xiao Yan had lost his reasoning and killed the first elder on the spot in his anger. After which, he was chased by the Misty Cloud sect with great effort and he had to flee. Finally, he had escaped out of the Jiuma Empire. He did not have even a little time during this period to give any deep thoughts to some of the strangeness regarding this matter. Now that he had once again mentioned the Misty Cloud sect, Xiao Yan, who had calmed down, began to have some doubts in his heart, however, from the looks of the expression of the first elder just before he died, it did not appear that he was lying. Ugh! Xiao Yan used all his strength to shake his head as he sighed. No matter how one put it, the Misty Cloud sect did have some hidden foggy implication with regards to the disappearance of his father. He might perhaps obtain some clues regarding this matter when he returned to the Jiuma Empire in the future. Now, however, the him who was chased after with the intention to kill, still did not possess the kind of strength to contend with the entire Misty Cloud sect. Hence, the only thing that Xiao Yan could do now was to quietly undergo bitter training and prepare to obtain the Fallen Heart Flame at any point in time. He clearly knew that if he were to train in a normal fashion, it would likely be impossible for him to possess the strength to return and take revenge on the Misty Cloud sect without five years' worth of time. Therefore, his hope entirely lay with the Fallen Heart Flame. As long as he possessed this second type of Heavenly Flame, the him who practices the Mysterious Flame Mantra would possess a strength that could truly contend with the Misty Cloud Sect. Misty Cloud Sect Ling Ying's mouth also repeated this faction which he did not think much of back then. A strange expression suddenly flashed in his turbid eyes. However, it completely disappeared an instant later. Misty Cloud Sect, it is related to them once again. Back then, when I was chased out of the Jiuma Empire by them, I had said that I would sooner or later return. At that time, I will definitely get to the bottom of this matter. Xiao Yan violently held his fist. His voice contained a suppressed violent anger and killing intent. Sun Er nodded slightly and softly said, I will let someone observe the Misty Cloud Sect. Xiao Yan Ge Ge also need not be too anxious. 
Training with a mind at ease is the correct path. Xiao Yan's expression was slightly dark and solemn. A moment later, he nodded and rubbed his head with his hand. He once again conversed with Ling Ying for a while before he, who was not too interested, frowned and left Sun Er's room by himself. Sun Er watched Xiao Yan's back as he left. She waved her delicate hand and a wind shut the door tightly. Immediately, she was afraid that it was not secure and she shot out a golden glow from her palm which finally covered the entire room. Old Ling, you seem to know something related to the Misty Cloud sect. Sun Er suddenly spoke after laying the soundproofing properly. Ling Ying was startled when he heard this. He hesitated for a moment before nodding. His low soft voice said, This time, when I went back, I specially checked some of the information regarding the Misty Cloud sect, only to discover some things that I did not know in the past. Speak. Sun Er's pupils narrowed. A shocking faint golden glow flashed past as she waved her hand and spoke. This faction which has been holed up within the Jiuma Empire appears to have some hidden and extremely obscure contact with those fellows, Ling Ying slowly said. Those fellows. Sun Er was slightly startled. Her pretty face immediately changed a little. You are talking about them? Yes. Ling Ying nodded. Why would the Misty Cloud sect be involved with them? No matter how one put it, the Misty Cloud sect once had some strong people at the peak who possessed quite a reputation within the continent. Why would they get involved with them? Sun Er spoke doubtfully. I am not certain, however, it appears that they were involved for only a short period of time. Perhaps they were only involved with the last Misty Cloud sect leader, who is also the current elite Dozong Yun Shan. I'm afraid that not many people within the Misty Cloud sect knows about this. I think that even the current Misty Cloud sect leader Yun Yun is also unaware of the connection between Yun Shan and them, otherwise, Ling Ying hesitated for a moment when he revealed information up to this point. He eyed Sun Er's tranquil face and softly said, otherwise, it would be impossible for her not to display things due to the little relationship between her and young master Xiao Yan. Sun Er nodded slightly. Her expression was still calm and did not have any change because of these words. Her voice only appeared a little colder. If they are really involved with the Misty Cloud sect, then Uncle Xiao Zhan's disappearance may well have some relationship with them. After all, they also know that the Xiao clan had a portion of the key related to that thing. However, these fellows clearly know of our relationship with the Xiao clan. Yet they still dare act in such a reckless manner. They are really becoming increasingly wild. Yes. Ling Ying nodded his head. He stared at Sun Er before speaking somewhat hesitantly, Young lady, you have been in the Xiao clan for over a decade, back then the clan allowed you to come to the Xiao clan with the intention of letting you secretly obtain that key from the Xiao clan. However, you have come to the Jianan Academy. Now, after so many years, you still do not have any news related to the key. This time when I went back, I heard that some dissatisfaction had appeared in the clan, if it was not because the ancestors of the Xiao clan having once had a blood oath with the clan, I'm afraid that there are some people who intend to use force. Sun Er raised her eyes slightly. A golden-colored flame leaped within her intelligent eyes as she said in a calm voice, just ignore them. Ling Ying could only smile bitterly and nod when he heard this. You should temporarily not tell Xiao Yan Ji about the matter of the Misty Cloud sex involvement with them. It will not be too late to tell him about it once he has the strength to contend with the Misty Cloud sect. If we tell him about it now, I'm afraid that it would be detrimental for him. Sun Er reminded. Yes. Ling Ying nodded and replied respectfully. Ah, you should leave the inner academy first. There are too many strong people around here. If they were to discover traces of you, there would definitely be some trouble. Sun Er waved her hand and ordered. Yes. Ling Ying once again nodded as he said, I will stay deep in the mountains. If young lady has any problems, you can send out the special signal of the clan. Once Ling Ying said this, his body trembled and began to twist strangely. Finally, 
it turned into a dark shadow, and quietly merged into the darkness of the room. Not long after Ling Ying disappeared, Sun Er let out a soft sigh. The strange golden-colored flames in her eyes was slowly withdrawn. Her delicate hand rubbed her face, causing an additional gentleness to appear on her indifferent face. After which, she turned around and walked out of the room. After Sun Er left the room, her gaze swept in all directions. Finally, it stopped at the peak of the pavilion house before she slowly walked up. The sky had already gradually turned dark when Sun Er walked to the highest floor. There were a few stars which occasionally flickered, and a pale moon hung in the sky, emitting faint moonlight. Xiao Yan sat on the northern corner. His hand was playing with an ancient jade piece which emitted a strange glow. Under the shine of the moonlight, the strange lines on the surface of the ancient jade appeared to be breathing. It was bright at times and dim at other times. However, this did not attract Xiao Yan's attention. His gaze was staring intently at an agile light spot which was repeatedly swimming within the ancient jade. This light spot represented the life and death of his father. At such a time, only this light spot that was still emitting a vitality was able to cause Xiao Yan to truly devote himself to training. Xiao Yan GG. The clear voice of a young lady suddenly sounded not far away. Xiao Yan raised his head to take a look and eyed Sun Er who was walking over with a smile. He also stood up. Sun Er smiled as she walked towards Xiao Yan. However, when her moving gaze paused onto the ancient jade in Xiao Yan's hand due to the light, her walking footsteps suddenly stopped. Shock slowly surfaced on her elegant and pretty face. This, this, this is Tiyu Shi Ancient Emperor's Jade. 